Hello. As part of our project on data representation, we're going to look at a box plot today. Box plot's really good at grouping data together. You can see in the box what typical data looks like. You can see how it behaves and you can also see how it compares to the lowest value and the highest value. For the data today, I thought I'd collect information about the speed that vehicles travel up our road. Now I can do that because there's a speed camera at the end of my lane, which is really helpful. So I've got my clipboard and a pencil or a pen and I can write down all the information and we can analyse it later. I'll see you soon. So this is the lane. the neighbour's carriage. And here's the road. Which cars race up. And down. So I stood down by that wall where that man in red is. So I wouldn't disturb cars. And then I was able to record the time, the speed that they were doing. Thirty-seven. He's got a bit quick. Well, here's my data, and if you look here, you can see the smallest one, twenty-four. That happened to be a police van driving very carefully. There was a bus as well. The bus was doing twenty-seven on its way to Leeds, and here, fastest car was a little black Golf. Right, let's go and see what we can make of this data. Right, so here's my data, and I'm ready to do my box plot. Now the first thing to realise is that box plot's a scale diagram, so it helps if I use a ruler. So here's the ruler, and I'm just going to draw the scale along here, and then I'm going to calibrate it. Now the smallest value I've got is a 24, but I'm actually going to start at 22. So that's 24, and then here's 26. 28 and here's 30 and 32 34 36 38 and 40 and you might recall 40 was the highest we needed to go to now we don't have to do this when you're making a box plot but i'm going to show you how the data spread out so i'm going to do little dots to show where the values are so i've got a 25 here and then we had a 27 and then there was a 32. So I'm just working through the list along here. So there was a 37, which is here. And then there's a 39. Gosh, she's going fast. 27, again. So I've got two of those. Then there's a 33. And a 38. That's there. A 35. 36, so there's 35. Uh, 37 again. And then we're down here, we've got a 28 and a 30 and a 25 again. There's the 24, the slow police van. There's a 31, another 35, there's another 28 here, and a 40, and lastly another 31. So there's all our data collected together, but we need to know where the median is. And so I've got to put all my data in order. Now, if you've got 19 items, the median is in the 10th position because it's the average of the first, doesn't look like a first, the average of the first and the 19th. And halfway between first and 19th is 10th. So I need to count through my data, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So there, that is my median. I also need to know where are the quartiles. Now I've shown you one way to find the quartiles. In fact, I've explained that there are 
many ways to find the quartiles. Because of this, there's not an exact quartile. So I'm going to show you another way. I've got 19 pieces of data, and a quarter of 19 is 4.75. And we round up to the next whole number so that we can identify the particular piece of information which is in fifth position. So I need to count from the bottom. So let's do this one in blue. One, two, three, four, five. Here, that is the lower quartile. Now, if you work out three quarters of 19, you actually get 14.25. Now we have to round up because a quartile is defined as having at least, in this case, three quarters of the data beneath it. So if you chose 14th, you wouldn't quite have three quarters of the data. So I need to have 15th position. So if I count through all my data, I'm going to count back from the top. So I've got 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Here is number 15. So that's where my upper quartile is. Now I've located three places, the lower quartile, the median, and the upper quartile. And the other thing we need to show on a box plot is what the extremes are. What's the lowest value and what's the highest value? Well, the lowest we've seen is down here is a 24 and the highest is up at this end it's a 40. Now each of these values so the low extreme value and the high extreme value each of these things, the low extreme, the lower quartile, the median, the upper quartile, and the high extreme need to be shown with a vertical line. And we have to follow our scale. So I'm going to put here, that's where the low extreme is. And here I've got the lower quartile. And here I have the median. And then I've got the upper quartile. And finally, I've got the high extreme. Now, the diagram is called a box plot. And so we make a box using the quartiles. So there's my box. And in there is the middle 50% of the data. So this is the middle... 50%. So that talks about typical data. And then we show how it fits relative to the really extreme data. So we draw these two things on the end. Now they are also known as whiskers. Which is why if you wanted to give this a name it would have to be a cat's name because it's got whiskers. Or perhaps no, I'll let you wonder about whether or not it should be a male or a female cat. So the box plot is sometimes referred to as a box and whisker plot.